हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे द टॉपिक ऑफ द क्लास इज इम्पल्स इन वेरियंस मैथड दिस टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम आई आर फिल्टर इन वॉट यूल बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग इन दिस क्लास इज हाउ टू फाइंड एच ऑफ जेड यूजिंग इम्पल्स इन वेरियंस मैथड सो वॉट डू यू मीन बाई फाइंडिंग एच ऑफ जेड दैट इज डिटरमाइनिंग एच ऑफ जेड यूर फाइंडिंग द ट्रांसफर फंक्शन ऑफ ए डिजिटल फिल्टर so what will be given to you in this uh, problem is the transfer function of an analog filter is given to you and you are finding transfer function of a digital filter of an ir filter so as you know there are two types of digital filters ir filter and fir filter so this topic comes under ir filter IAR stands for infinite impulse response so as you know the filter designed by considering all the infinite samples of impulse response are called IAR filter the impulse response is obtained by taking inverse fourier transform of an ideal frequency response so what is an IAR filter the filter designed by considering all the infinite samples of impulse response by considering all the infinite samples of impulse response are called ir filter there are two methods for designing ir filters one is impulse invariance method and the one is bilinear transformation so coming to this today's class the topic is impulse invariance method so what is impulse invariance transformation the transformation of analog and analog filter to digital filter without modifying the impulse response of the filter is called impulse invariant transformation that is the transformation of analog filter to digital filter without modifying the impulse response of the analog filter is called impulse invariant transformation in this transformation the impulse response of the digital will um, digital filter will be the sampled version of the impulse response of the analog filter so what is impulse invariance method that is the impulse response of an analog filter is not changed so how is the response of a digital filter it is a sampled version of the analog filter so let us start the problem of ir filter using impulse invariance method the given question is determine h of z using impulse invariance method at 5 hertz sampling frequency from ha h a of s which is given to be s2 by s plus 1 s plus 2 this is the analog transfer function coming to the solution first write given analog transfer function as h a of s is equal to 2 by s 2 by s plus 1 by into s plus 2 let us first expand let us first expand this given h a of s into partial fractions so it is written as 2 by s plus 1 s plus 2 writing it into partial expanding in partial fraction we can write it as a by s plus 1 plus b by s plus 2 now we have to find what is a and what is b how to find a a is equal to you have to take this term and multiply it here 2 times of s plus 1 by that is multiply this term here 
and write this complete thing s plus 1 s plus 2 at s is equal to minus 1 ok on simplifying we will be getting a is 2 a will be coming as 2 coming to b b is equal to now this term multiplied to this one 2 times of s plus 2 by s plus 1 into s plus 2 at s is equal to minus 2 on simplifying you will be getting b as minus 2 ok so what is a value a is 2 and b is equal to minus 2 so we got the a and b values what we have done we have written the partial fraction of h a of s and found a and b values what is sampling frequency given to us sampling frequency is f s is given to be as 5 hertz find the sampling period capital T is equal to 1 by f s which is 1 by 5 is equal to coming to be as 0.2 seconds ok. So, first we have written h a of s in partial fractions found a and b sampling period we have computed. Next step is we know that impulse invariant transformation is given by impulse invariance transformation is given by one by s minus p i this is analog part is transformed to 1 minus e to the power of p i t z to the power of minus 1 this equation is known as impulse invariance transformation this equation you have to remember for finding h of z ok so, let us apply this transformation to this two terms. So, to the first term what is the first term now? A by s plus 1. So, what is a value got? 2 by s plus 1 ok to the first term if you are applying it is written as 2 by s minus of minus 1. So, what it is 2 by 1 minus e to the power of p i what is p i value here minus 1 t value is 0.2 z to the power of minus 1. So, how much it is coming to be as? It is coming to be as 2 by 1 minus e to the power of minus 0.2 z to the power of minus 1. Ok, now we have applied the um, this one or else you can write it as b now applying for the second term b by s plus 2 what is b by value minus 2 minus 2 by s plus 2 so you write it as minus 2 of 1 
by s plus 2. So, we are applying bilinear transformation to 1 by s minus p i. So, you can write it in this form. Okay. So, it is written as minus 2 1 by s minus of minus 2 which is written as minus 2 1 by 1 minus e to the power of p i. What is p i here? Minus 2 t value is 0 0.2 z to the power of minus 1. So, it is coming to be as minus 2 1 by 1 minus e to the power of minus 0 0.4 z to the power of minus 1. Okay. So, we have applied impulse invariance to both the terms. So, what is given to us? H A of S is given to us. This is analog transfer function. Analog transfer function, you are finding H of Z using impulse invariance method. What is the equation? 1 minus s minus p i is transformed to 1 minus e to the power of p i t z inverse. This is the equation. So, what we got h of z? h of z the first term is this one a 1 b write a plus b equation a plus equation b. What is equation a? 2 by 1 minus e to the power of minus 0.2 z inverse plus minus 2 by 1 minus e to the power of minus 0.4 z inverse. Okay. So, you got both the terms and then simplify it. On simplifying, you will be getting h of z is equal to simplify this one. You got h of z. On simplifying, it will be getting as 2.29 z by z square minus 1.488 z plus 0.54. Okay, I hope you have understood the solution. I will quickly review the work what we have done here. So, you have to basically remember this note. Okay. So, what you are doing in this solution is an analog transfer function h a of s is given to you. You are finding digital transfer function h of z using impulse invariance method. What you have to do? You have to do the partial fraction of the given h a of s and write it in the form of 1 by s minus p i. And then after applying impulse invariance transformation it is written as 1 minus e to the power of p i e t that is a sampling period dot z to the power minus 1. So, the equation is clear to remember 1 minus e to the power of p i t z inverse. Yes, is it clear? So, 1 by s minus p i is transformed to 1 by 1 minus e to the power of p i t z to the power minus 1. So, you can easily see the solution once again. The analog transfer function is given. You have applied partial function, partial fraction to the given transfer function and then found a and b values. a is 2 and b is minus 2 and then computed the sampling period 
and then applied the impulse invariance transformation to each term. There are two terms A by S plus 1 and B by S plus 2. On applying impulse invariance to the first term you got 2 by 1 minus e to the power minus 0.2 z inverse and applying impulse invariance transformation to the second term b by s plus 2 is minus 2 by 1 minus e to the power minus 0.4 z inverse. Now after finding the impulse invariance transformation term of first and second one we have added them simplified it and then we got the answer h of z is equal to this much. Okay? I hope you have understood the class for queries you can post in the comments. So, what is the topic here we have covered today? Infinite impulse response filter IAR filter using in impulse invariance method. What is the equation? 1 by s minus p i is equal to 1 by 1 minus e to the power p i t z to the power minus 1. Thank you. Good luck students.